weekend. The state semis for volleyball also taking place in Dayton today. Noel Blumel has been covering the event, has more from Wright State University on St. Ursula and Tiffin Calvert. It's been a jam-packed day of volleyball here in Dayton as St. Ursula and Calvert made their way to the state semifinals. In Division I, St. Ursula would put up a fight but would ultimately fall in three straight sets to Olentangy Orange. As for Division IV, Calvert would be on the other side of that, sweeping Canton Central Catholic in three straight sets and securing a spot in the state championship. But we start with the arrows. Kicking it off at Wright State University, St. Ursula facing Olentangy Orange, seeking a shot at the championship ship tomorrow. Arrows doing what they do best with a set and kill from Aaron Maloney. Then a long rally between the Pioneers and Arrows, but Lucy Mott would put an end to it as she sneaks it over on two for a dump and another Arrows point. St. Ursula continuing the offensive dominance from the middle. This time it will be Molly Malone with the kill as she knocks it straight to the floor. And finally, Olin Tangi looking for an answer, but a double stuff block from Malone and Ella Caldwell would give them another point. The arrows would hang tight, but would eventually fall short in three straight sets. Getting to this point meant that we could stay together as long as possible. And, you know, I'm so happy that we got to accomplish that. I'm so heartbroken that we're not going to be able to play together anymore, but I'm so grateful for the time we had. It's, it's all about the small part of something big. Um, these seniors bought into that very early on, and they led, they led all 15 players on that team to that. Uh, so honestly, it's, it's hoping that that continues, because uh, if it does, we have a lot of talent coming up, and you know, hopefully we can be back here for the next few years. And finally, in the Division IV state semifinal, Calvert facing Canton Central Catholic. Calvert would waste no time with a set to Caroline Lanachek that ricochets off a defender and gives them the lead. Then, just shortly after, Claire Schonenberger with a jump, toss, and ace that finds the back corner of the court. And more kills would come from the Senecas. This time, it's Cameron Shook who finds the hardwood from the outside and extends Calvert's lead. The Senecas would go on to secure the sweep and a spot in the state championship. I think that, um, you know, as good as this program is, people often forget, you know, it's very hard to get here. And I think that we're very proud of what we've done this year. And so I think that's just something that is worth taking away from this. And I'm sure New Bremen has worked as hard as we have. Um, and, and we're just looking forward to the opportunity to compete um, six versus six and, and do our best to bring home the state championship. Calvert will spend the night here in Dayton and face New Bremen for the Division IV state championship tomorrow. In the Nutter Center, Noel Blumel, WTOL 11.